Hello everyone, so today we're going to be making a SpaceX Starship. Our SpaceX Starship is going to have storage inside, so you can store your pen, pencil or anything you want. So first, you need to have your sketches ready. This is my sketch of my Starship. And then my engineering sketch. This is the upper body, which is this part up here. And it's this part here on the sketch. And then this is the lower body from the side view. And this is the lower body from the bottom view. And these are this part right here. So now you want to go into Fusion. Once you're on Fusion, save your work. And save it as Starship. Once you have that, right click on Spaceship version 1. New Components. And then name it Lower Body. Then press OK. Once you have that, you want to go create a sketch. Select the front face. You can see here it says front. So this is the front face. This would be the bottom face. And this would be the face on the left. So front face. Then look at your sketch for lower body. Just like this. But then you have to sort of turn it. So we're going to be drawing it like this. And we're only going to be drawing half of it, as I'll show you the reason later. So first, go to line, select the origin, drag it straight up, make it 144. Press enter, and go back to the origin, and go to the right, and make it 19.3. Press enter. And then go up here, select that point, drag it to the right, and make that 17 millimeters. And then from the 17 millimeters point, straight down and make it 20 millimeters. And then go to line again, select any point on here. Ideally, not the middle, and drag it straight down so that it's touching this line at the bottom. And make sure it's at 90 degrees. And then you use this tool called Sketch Dimension. Select the vertical line in the middle and the line that you just drawn. Drag it down and change it to 15. And from that, go to line again. From the 19.3 point, go to the right by 20 millimeters. And then you want to go from this point again, straight up, so that it is in line with this point over here, and drag to the right. Make sure it's at 90 degrees, and then connect the two points together. like that and then from this point over here you want to drag it straight up and make it 25 millimeters click and then go again but this time you want to go from this point to the inner line the line in the middle it can be anywhere it doesn't matter and then we use sketch dimension so from this point to this point Drag it to the right, make sure this line is vertical and change it to 40. And then there's one more line. So from here to the right, sketch dimension, that line and the bottom line and make it 15. So once you have that, check your sketch that you've done everything correctly. So that looks good and now you want to click on finish sketch go to revolve up here on the top left and select this face this face and this face select the axis you want to select the z-axis which is the vertical one right here 
change direction to one side, then change it back to symmetric. And now you want to press OK. You should get something like this. And then open up low body, open up sketches and make sketch number one visible. And this time you want to go to extrude. Select this face and the face inside here. And then change direction to symmetric. Change distance to 2.5. And change operation to join. Then press OK. And then turn off sketch number one. We can see that we have half of our lower body now. So what you want to do now is mirror this. So go to create, mirror. Make sure pattern type is on body. Select object and then select mirror line. And you want to select the left face. You see there, the yellow part, and it says left up here. Like that. Then press OK. And you should get something like this. And that's your lower body done.